I really hope this video does not get published on the internet. I'm most likely not gonna publish this video, but if you somehow watch it, hi. <laughs> um, my name's Jade, and I just wanted to be honest about my YouTube channel and just some people in this community. I don't want this to be a hate video. It's not at all a shady video, and I don't get into YouTube drama ever. But recently, someone on the community um, posted a video about not knowing what to do in the future. And that girl is named Vanessa. And Vanessa is someone who I would say has definitely, I mean, we even went back and forth on this on, I, so, okay, I need to backtrack. Okay, so basically, I want to talk about this entrepreneurship niche on YouTube. It is obscurely competitive in a weird way just because no one wants to admit it. Like, nobody wants to admit it. And I am kind of a part of it, but I like strategically wanted to peace out um, because of this weird energy. And what I'm talking about is everybody on like the social media marketing world, you know, has a roadmap to success. And it's typically launch a course, grow more viewers and have a mastermind. And this path is like how you become successful. Now I make videos about social media. If you guys don't know on this channel, like I'm not trying to promote myself. I swear, this is not about myself. I'm genuinely trying to respond to Vanessa's video because I'm actually so happy to hear such refreshing perspectives because no one wants to talk about this issue, which is the fact that this roadmap to success on in like business is literally so unfulfilling. And this is my perspective. I feel like in especially at least the business world, right? Like you have to do certain things to become successful or hit certain revenue numbers, but we forget to realize that why are we doing in this first why are we doing this in the first place? Um it's so competitive for no reason because we're competing against being unhappy. Like no one wants to admit this again, but a lot of the YouTubers or digital marketers you watch aren't necessarily fulfilled in what they're doing. And although online on paper it looks like they're millionaires, like I feel like I, and I firsthand saw this like there's so many instances and examples where money doesn't equal happiness. And I just want this video to be a wake up call to anyone who's obsessed with views or maintaining engagement or maintaining revenue that that has no relevance to happiness or purpose or like you just need to know why you're doing things because you can make everybody happy. But at the end of the day, you need to make yourself happy. So this video that Vanessa posted led, literally yesterday, she kind of just goes over how she feels like she's not making her happy. And it kind of reminded me of my pivot earlier this year. Um, and I just wanted to elaborate on that. I, I, I never told you guys this, but you guys maybe saw Loki in my small attempts to be kind of shady. <laughs> um, and I totally admit it, like I've hinted that I hate it. I hate this digital marketing world because it's so formatted and it's there's a certain way to success. And I didn't want to follow that path. And I realized I've definitely made a 360 pivot in my business and in my content just to not do that. Um, so I made a lot of Instagram videos this year and then I stopped around like April and I completely switched and you guys saw I launched a company. I'm using this because it's, it wasn't real at the time, uh, but I launched like an app called PBJ and we've rebranded and completely changed, but I can definitely see how the, that attempt to pivot was just me hopelessly trying to be different and in doing that, you know, I actually lost a lot of you guys and a lot of trust from some viewers or just people who wanted to see Instagram content because I didn't post that anymore. I started to make travel films and, and stuff that I liked and it definitely took a hit in my business. And I'll be honest, like I never made a full video about me pivoting because I just, I didn't even know I could do that with you guys. But I, I just want to be honest, I don't want to make those videos anymore. It doesn't make me happy. And I know they get like 2 million views at some point, but they don't make me happy. And at the time I made them, they were interesting to me, but that's not my passion. And I was never able to be honest with you guys about it because I felt like you guys only wanted to see certain videos. And let me just tell you, I'm not trying to make this about myself because I know so many people out there who feel really confined and defined by their niche or their category on YouTube to the point where they don't feel like they can create content and the, the freaking point of YouTube is to create stuff that you like, right? Like 
I know it's a business, but at the end of the day, like, why are you doing it, you know? And I have so many YouTubers and friends that also deal with a similar problem with like, you know, I need to make videos for my viewers. Like, I need to make videos to hit a certain view count. And for once, are we just able to just make videos for ourselves and go back to making content we love and doing stuff with purpose? Like, what's the point of making money if you can't enjoy it? One question I recently asked myself is, say your goal is to make, I don't know, X amount of views or X amount of dollars a year. Imagine you didn't achieve that goal, or maybe you hit it, not exactly 100%, right? Would you at least be happy knowing the fact that you enjoyed the process, right? There's a chance you're gonna achieve your goal and you might hit it, but if you don't, did you at least enjoy the process? Like, I feel like that's the super, like big picture I wanted to share on this video, which is, I wasn't able to say I enjoyed the process. And in April of this year, I made a like 360 turn and I'm like, I don't wanna make videos that I don't like and I don't wanna build a course or product that I don't use. And not to hate anyone who does that because trust me, I use Skillshare. Like <laughs> courses are fine and I know I shit on courses a lot. It's not about that. It's like, for me personally, did I wanna produce a product that I won't use? And I thought I was really wrong of me. I had literally friends in the marketing community. I was like, Jade, why don't you put out a course? Like, what are you doing? Like, you should make more money. And like, trust me, like I make a lot less money because of that. But I found my other passions, which is YouTube and making films. And you guys maybe could see like in my videos that I experiment more. And yeah, like I don't get as many views. Like honestly, a lot of you guys in the comments are like, <laughs> not a lot of you guys, some people that are definitely criticizing my channel, you know, say like, oh my God, she's irrelevant. She has no views. And I'm like, you know what? You are right. I am irrelevant or I don't, I, whatever you want to call me, right? Like, I'm happy though. Like, I'm making stuff I love, and I get to talk to you guys. And it might not be the whole world, and I might not make, make I might not be able to make the whole world happy, but I'm making myself so happy. And, and not in a selfish way, but like the people that did stay were the real ones. And if you're watching this video, you are the real one because, you know, you could watch a ton of other people, but you still decided to watch me. And I guess without that pivot and without actually losing a bunch of followers and views, I wouldn't be able to create my new business, which is the text message platform. And I'm, I'm now working on this like food box company called Eat Like, and it's super random. I know I'll talk more about it later, but I'm creating businesses that I would use and I believe in. I f don't feel like a sellout. And although I might not be banking on some YouTube dough, I don't see that in any correlation with my happiness and I'm still, you know, making bread, but you know, I might not have a bakery, <laughs> but I'm here for the long game and I'm not in a rush. I'm also 18, so maybe I should slow the frick down and enjoy life. But like I said, Vanessa's video kind of reflecting on her year really made me reflect on my year because I realized that I never got the time to slow down and realize that I made a pivot. It was scary. And you guys, um, you guys, didn't know that I was like hating my videos and I hated everything I made. And I like literally had so much anxiety because I felt like I was becoming something I'm not. And for anyone who's felt like that, I will link Vanessa's video below so you guys can watch it. But you know, just take some time to reflect. Like if you've gotten any success, like don't feel bad to slow down. It's your own timing. And I don't know, I feel like we should have more honest conversations about our YouTube channel. Uh, we should have more evaluations about like, am I loving the videos I'm making? And where do I really want to go? Why do I want to go here? There's nothing wrong about wanting money and success. It's just why, like, why do you want it? And what I've realized is my why is about connecting the world with meaningful conversations. I want to connect you watching who may not live near near me. Um, I want to know you and, and connect with you. And it doesn't require millions of views. I realize like you're, you can achieve your goal. If you really deep down ask why you want to achieve it, you can achieve it for less than a dime. Like it's typically free. So I hope this can help you realize that the view count, the numbers, as I know it's so freaking cheesy and cliche, but it doesn't matter, bitch. Like it's just about loving the art you make. And I've been trying to subtly say it. And to be honest, me and Vanessa did message each other back, but it was definitely uncomfortably competitive. Not just her, but I can, I don't want to name drop, but there's a bunch of people on the platform that you might know and watch that were definitely a little bit uptight with 
me and everyone else. And it's, I think we should just have more honest conversations that you don't have to make a freaking course if you don't want to. You don't have to make a mastermind if you don't want to. If you do, great, but ask yourself why. You know what I mean? Uh, that's just at least for the business world. You don't need to do anything just because the society or system tells you to. Define your own success. You do not get, there's no sense of winning if you are living someone else's life. That's just facts, guys. Okay. Um, I'm not trying to get too emotional, but like I am so excited for next year. Um, I made my 2020 goals and surprise, surprise, it has nothing to do with revenue. Like I'll literally, I'll literally even show you if you guys are curious, but like I made a little like mission statement here. Um, oh look, there it is. My mission is to connect the world through meaningful conversations. And I wrote down that next year, I guess I could show you my 2020 goals, but next year I really hope to house host a really amazing event with you guys in Los Angeles and I'm planning it for September. So, you know, I hope to build a platform. I build you like this YouTube channel, not for, you know, views or cloud, but to meet you guys. So do you see like the purpose is changed? Like I want to bring people together and it doesn't require millions of viewers, right? Um, and then, yeah, I mean like that's kind of the, the projection with all the businesses. Like I'm trying to grow them so I can meet you and and have a conversation with you. And I, I just want to thank you guys because that's my goal for next year to create a really amazing uh, conference. And it's gonna cost a lot of money <laughs> and a lot of time, but that's why I'm doing the things I'm doing. So like everything I'm doing leading up to that is fuel. So like revenue and cash and, and I don't know, growth is to lead up to that. So my why is about working with amazing creative people versus just making money to make money. And I never had that until this year um i have always just wanted to make cash to make cash and it's it's great to have this mission statement on paper um so that's kind of just what i've been up to lately and i've never been honest with you guys to let you know that i don't like making instagram growth videos but it doesn't mean that i don't want to help you guys in other mediums so yeah that's just i don't know where this video is going just do you boo if you have any questions, you can comment below. I would love to hear if you resonated at all with this. If you're struggling with view count or subscribers, just ask yourself why and just let me know in the comments or text my phone number if you want. Um, I would love to chat with you about this because I feel like we need to have more comfortable conversations about business and purpose. I think purpose is a weird arbitrary thing that we push aside, but it's just as important. So yeah, thank you Darma Nation for watching today's video. I don't have a comment winner because I'm doing this one take. So yeah, um, I love you guys. I catch you guys in the next one. Peace, yes. I'm not, I hope this didn't go public. <laughs>